Good afternoon, Pranonda, and welcome. I'll start the meeting with agenda item one and the appointment of chairperson. Could I please get a proposer and seconder? I'd like to propose Councillor Nia Jenkins as chair. I'd like to second Councillor Nia Jenkins as chair. Thank you both. I'll hand over to Councillor Jenkins, chair of this afternoon's meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Pranonda. Welcome to this hybrid meeting of the Education, Skills and Wellbeing Cabinet Board on Thursday, the 25th of May, 2023. I'm Councillor Nia Jenkins and I'll be chairing this meeting. Please ensure that your microphones are switched off uh, to silent during the duration of the meeting. And could members and officers please only use their microphones when speaking virtually and present here in the chamber. Um, agenda item one are declarations of interest. And I'll start. I have a declaration of interest. I've um, newly become appointed as governor for my Sakoid school, but I have spoken to our legal department and I have dispensation to speak and vote on this matter. Any other declarations, please? I don't see any indications, Chair. turned myself off. Thank you, Sarah. Moving on to agenda item four, the minutes of the previous meeting held on the 13th of April 2023 are on pages three to six of the circulated agenda pack and are here for accuracy. I'm happy to propose if I could have a seconder, please. Happy, happy to second. Thank you, Councillor Hurley. Thank you, Councillor Jenkins. I can confirm the minutes are now approved. Moving on to agenda item five, public question time. We haven't received no notifications from the public to speak at today's meeting. Agenda item six, Welsh second language support. The report is on pages seven to 14 and is here for information. Do officers have anything for any further comments on this report? No, thank you, Chair. Members, do you have any questions regarding this report? Oh. OK, the report is here for information and there are no recommendations to consider. Therefore, we make note of this report. Moving on to agenda item seven, the CRN programme. The report is on pages 15 to 24 and is here for information. Do officers have any further comments to the report? No, thank you, Chair. Members, do you have any questions? Councillor Hurley. Oh, just a statement again in that it's really impressive to see the work that goes into it, how you're highlighting the talent and the support they get to, to go right through the process. So thank you for all the officers' work involved. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hurley. I'd like to add to that. It's I've been privileged to actually attend some um, presentations with Officer Karen Thomas, and it's been wonderful to see the drive, passion and the dedication she's got for this CRN programme. And it's also absolutely wonderful to see the confidence in the young people who are part of the CRN group. And I've seen them actually mentoring younger people. They are absolutely outstanding and we should all be very, very proud of them. So if you could extend my thanks to the staff, please, Mr. Millis. Um, right, well, that matter was here for information and there are no recommendations to consider. Therefore, we do make a note of that report. Moving on to agenda item eight, personal transport budget. The report is on pages 25 to 62 of the circulated agenda pack and is here for decision. Do officers have any further comments on this report? Nothing further, thank you. Thank you. Any further members, any questions? No. Um, I'd like to say it's lovely. I don't envy Officer Deborah Holton Phillips. It must have been a horrific job for her to uh, bring this together. But 
it's absolutely wonderful to see and it ties in very nicely with concerns that we've discussed earlier about attendance, which I think this home to school transport could help in addressing massively. So thank you for that. Um, I'm happy to propose this um, agenda item. Could I have a seconder, please? Happy to second, Chair. Thank you, um, Councillor Phillips. Sorry, I forgot your surname. <laughs> members, if you don't indicate to the contrary by raising your electronic hand or for members present in the chamber today by raising your hand, I will assume that you were in favour of the recommendations. Sarah, could you confirm, please? I saw see no indication to the contrary, Chair. I can confirm the recommendation is now approved. Thank you. Uh, agenda item nine, the report is on pages 63 to 86 and is here for decision. Do officers have any further comments on the report, please? Nothing further to add on that, thank you. Members, any questions? No. Um, again, I would just like to thank you. As we discussed earlier during scrutiny, we know that we desperately need these additional spaces. And I think in the ideal world, we'd love to see additional buildings and units everywhere. Sadly, there's a financial implication to that and we strive towards it. So thank you for all this work and it's very welcome. Um, I now refer members to the recommendations on page 77 of the circulated agenda pack. I propose if I could have a seconder, please. Happy to second, Chair. Thank you. Members, if you don't indicate to the contrary by raising your electronic hand or for members present in the chamber today by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendations. Sarah, could you confirm the outcome, please? I see no indication to the contrary, Chair. I can confirm the recommendation is now approved. Thank you. Um, I... Agenda item 10, urgent items, I have none. And that just brings me to the end of business today. Thank you for attending and a safe journey home to the nice weather in the garden.